could you just take like three minutes telling us uh, what you did to get that result? So basically the result is one of our clients is in the map pack, the top three locally uh, for NYC personal injury lawyer, which is probably the hardest keyword to rank for on the planet. So what were some of the things, maybe like the top three things that you did there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, NYC is one of our older clients. Uh, firstly, that site have lots of content on it, lots of content. And the first thing that we've been working on is properly interlinking the silo. So th there, there is interlinking that goes laterally across the different NYC pages. And there, um, there's interlinking that goes horizontally as well from the bottom to the top of the silo. So damages incurred in personal injury, economical damages, non-economical damages, and pages related to personal injury. injury. Um, and there are also those horizontal pages, which are those car accident pages, towel pages. So we did I, we did some um, interlinking there, set up the, the, the silo properly, the way it should be set up. The other thing that we did there, map specific, is that we added an embed map of the client location, that NYC location, on a several different of the pages, target pages that we're um, that we that we have set up on the site. We're also linking another strategy that we're doing is that we are using the keyword of the page, whether it's NYC personal injury, or whether it's NYC brain injury lawyer, or whether it's whiplash lawyer in New York City. We're using that keyword and we are linking to the, the GPB, the GPB, the Google Business Profile, using that specific keyword. And um, just doing that in itself is adding, using that specific anchor and sending it to the GPB. It's just sending lots of good signals to Google that this is personal injury located relevant, relevant to the NYC personal injury. We're also doing um, just, so the map embed, um, we have different sections, like on the bottom of the pages, find a keyword or find a person, NYC personal injury lawyer um, at the office below, right? So we are essentially given the user what the user would want, would want. And that is what Google wants to do. Google wants to help people, right? Help their user find solutions. And um, so we're adding that type of content to the site. And um, I think that Google is honored seeing that and is loving it. And um, it's given us the results that we want. Awesome. Congrats, Glenn. So just to recap, the first one was like interlinking and site structure, linking across a silo. A silo is just a group of pages that are kind of related. Um, so across, up and down a silo and also across silos. And then the second thing you said was embedding maps on the page itself on the site. And then the third thing was linking from the site back to the GBP with certain keywords in the anchor text, the clickable text. So kind of shocking that I didn't realize how important it was to have interlinking done properly for maps rankings. So I'm assuming, and correct me if I'm wrong, but when somebody clicks on that link in the GBP to go to the site, um, well, basically Google is following that link and then following the links around the site to say like, yes, this site, which is associated with the GBP is relevant to this term that the person's searching for. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Awesome.